she. Alone. Don't go upstairs. 666. The sixth floor. The circus room attack is back. Don't go upstairs. Raped. Left for dead. Fighting back. Take this, mother... 666. The sixth floor. The circus lunatic is back on the sixth floor. Don't go upstairs. The sixth floor. You can fool some of the people some of the time, and you better believe they love WWE pay-per-views. When I was a kid, my mom used to say I was a pain in the butt, which is weird because don't most babies come from a uterus? Words can never hurt me. No sooner had I said that than someone with a really high pitched voice started screaming and all the glass broke and I got cut up. Words can hurt, be nice. Kip, Kip, hooray, Kip, Kip, hooray. Kip Winger. I sat next to him at John Lennon's white piano the one he sang, Imagine, and, and, uh, and, and he played the piano. Kip is a friend of mine. We were born at the exact same moment. He's older than me, but the exact same moment. Ray Davies of the Kinks. We're, we're all born. We, we have a connection. We have a connection. I, I don't believe any of that stuff, but there is a spiritual connection between me and Kip. She's only 17. You remember that song in Beavis and Butthead? Boy, did they tear up my friend Kip. So I sent Kip a picture of a woman with Kirk on one breast and Spock on the other. And I said, Kip, Kirk or Spock? Don't send me this filth. Stop, I don't like this filth. Stop. Kip Winger? Hairband guy? Rock guy? The guy that wrote She's Only 17 about banging his... It was at that point that I knew the world was coming to an end. That's got to be a sign of the apocalypse. Kip, lighten up. I'm just... Take your time. Yeah, I know. You're, you're, you're getting paid. Of course, take my time. F I don't care. Son of a Do you ever crumple up your money before you put it in the collection plate so it looks like you're giving more money at church? It's horrible, isn't it? The way my brothers treated me, stole from me, one of my heroes of the Bible is uh, Joseph and his amazing Technicolor dream coat. If you ask me, it's a little tacky. But man, he was beaten, thrown in a well, covered with goat blood. Everything that happened to the guy, if you've never read the story of Joseph. And, uh, but his setbacks were his setups. So you may feel like you've been beaten and thrown in a well. There's no pain like family pain. You may feel like your family has sold you out like my family did. It's heartbreaking. But God's doing something for you. This, this, this is when, if you stay cool, you stay calm, and you stay in faith, great things happen. If you're having trouble right now, that's a good thing. Listen, hell has been unleashed on earth right now. Look around. If nothing's coming against you, you don't mean anything. If life's easy street for you right now, something's wrong in your life. But if you're trying to do good and you're feeling all hell coming against you, it's because you matter and you're doing good things. New levels, new devils. They're going to come out of the woodwork to attack you for doing good. Don't give up. And before you know it, you'll be on another mountaintop. There's real friends and there's fake friends when you do radio and TV like I have. One of my real friends is Michael Madsen. That was used in the movie Kill Bill. It's signed by David Carradine and Michael Madsen. David Carradine is signing, smoking and signing. And I hear a loud mouth. Ah, David Carradine, Kung Fu, he thinks he's tough. Carradine's signing. And everybody's going, oh man, this is going to be a problem. This guy's yelling and he comes through the line and he goes to punch David Carradine. Carradine's smoking, not even paying attention. And he crushes the guy's throat. <laughs> the guy falls to the floor. Carradine says, next. He really was a badass. This is one of the rarest creatures on earth. This is a piranha dial. And uh, we showed this around America. And I made $70,000 showing this as I traveled around America. And uh, check that out. That's the banner we had. $70,000. It cost a dollar to see it. But that was when it was alive. You get more money on these things when they're alive. 
I love Billy Corgan. He has a band. I can't remember their name, but um, he is a pain in the ass to go out with. I, I'm convinced he eats only gravel. There is nothing that he can eat. He's one of these guys, no dairy, vegan, no meat, no, no. He doesn't eat anything. I went to his tea shop, Zuzu's. It's new, it's big, it's great. I, I, I don't know, Billy, give me what you give me. Put some gravel on a, on a plate. Sawyer, Michigan, I went to the whistle stop and I ordered a cup of Joe. And a guy came out of the back, I'm Joe, tug, tug.